Whenever you're dealing with an apologist for Islam, or even a Muslim, and you bring up jihad, almost immediately they kick back to you, well, what about those terrible crusades? Why, they're the moral justification for jihad. I mean, we're just as bad as they are, so let's not talk about jihad, okay? Let's talk about the crusades. Well, what I would like to talk about here are facts. And it turns out I sat down and put together some work and I created a database of some 548 battles that Islam fought jihad battles against classical civilization. And this aren't even all the battles. It really doesn't say much about Africa and India, Afghanistan and all that. It's primarily the battles against the classical civilization of Rome and Greece. So, 548 battles is a lot and it's too much to even comprehend. So I created something which I call a dynamic battle map in which you have a display of the Mediterranean and a white dot means that this 20 year period that's a new battle. So every time the screen changes it's 20 year period. They then the colors white turn to red and so you can see a history. This may seem a little confusing but I think when you see it you'll know exactly what I mean. And here it starts. Islam burst out of the Arabian Peninsula and immediately starts attacking the Middle East. And notice that it doesn't take long until they're crossing the Mediterranean and attacking southern France and Spain. Notice something here. Most people think of Islam, they think of Arabs, they think of Arabs, they think of desert. And yet here we see that Islam is projecting power throughout the Mediterranean. Notice how the little islands of the Mediterranean are getting hammered. The navy of Islam would attack coastal towns, kill, rob, rape, and then take slaves. So this whole battle map as it unfolds, you're seeing slaves being taken. Over a million slaves were taken out of Europe into the Islamic world. That's something you don't think about much, but it's absolutely true. There were over 200 battles fought in Spain alone. And we also see, however, on the east coast in Turkey that Islam is trying to break into Europe. Now what's going to happen is in Spain, this ongoing fight that lasted for 400 years, is the Christians are going to push back the Muslims. But now then what has happened over in the east is that Constantinople has fallen and now then Eastern Europe is getting hammered. The Jihad now comes to Eastern Europe. It's pushed out now of Spain. Northern Africa is now completely Islamic. The Middle East is completely Islamic. This is all jihad, relentless jihad. And why is it so relentless? Well, Muhammad was relentless in his jihad. And these people are good students of Islam, and so it's against the Kafir on and on. It was traditional that when the Sultan came to power, the brand new Sultan, he would immediately try to launch new wars because he was going to be noted in his Islamic history as to how well he fought against the Kafir. So that's what the Jihad looked like over that time period, 548 battles. But remember, when you bring up Jihad, people want to bring up the Crusades. So I also prepared a dynamic battle map of all the offensive raids of the Crusaders. Let's watch it and make a comparison. And so it begins. The Crusades enter into Turkey and the Middle East. Battles go on, but aren't there far fewer than you thought there might be? And here we go. The last battles are fought, and that is the end of the Crusades. So now then we can talk about some facts. Yes, there were Crusades, but notice they ended centuries ago, and Jihad is being practiced today. Jihad has been with us for 1,400 years. There is no comparison between Jihad and the Crusades, certainly not a moral comparison. And when you're looking at the Crusades, remember, in one sense, all of the Crusades were defensive wars. Why? Well, as we saw in the first Jihad map, it was Islam that came out of Arabia and conquered the Middle East, a Christian Middle East. And so the Crusaders were trying to free their Christian brothers and sisters from Jihad. So there's no moral comparison at all. The motivation of the Crusaders was to free Christians. The purpose of Jihad is to enslave the Kafir. So the next time you hear somebody talk about all oh, those dreadful Crusades, you've seen some facts about the matter. Why don't you pipe up and tell them you know you don't really know the matter?